Boom. <laughs> I span, I follow too closely, I change directions without lying. Well, stressful as fuck. Quick shit vid, let's have it. Just quickly sort of run through game. I thought we'd give a good account of ourselves to be fair. I thought Harrison looked a lot better. And with Bamford, I just think them two were like, they're just constantly looking for each other. There was that moment early on when Harrison that long ball were on and I just thought we're in here, like they're just constantly looking for each other. Bamford with a mint strike. I, I kind of enjoyed that weird press that we were doing, like um, letting them two shit cunts have it at back. They were just sort of holding the ball, but like, because I think, you know, I think it can make, it seems like it's a bit raggy, but we were picking up ball a lot and if Aronson were a bit more like clinical, we'd have actually, you know, got a few more opportunities out of it. That's where you want Nonto in there really, because Nonto is going to, when Aronson got it a couple of times in them areas where it's just one-on-one, -on -one, like, it just lets go. And Aronson just doesn't have... I'm not having a go at Aronson, but I've never seen him carry the ball without ending up falling over. And people say it's his strength and stuff, and I do think he's quite... You know, he's not very top-heavy, is he? But, it, it should, you know, it's just frustrating. It's, and he had a chance to put Rodrigo through once where, where Rodrigo really had a go at him. Um, But it would mean... Bamford strike was brilliant. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm so team Bamford. When he's in the side and fit, we are so much better. The target man, we look to him all the time. He holds it up, he wins stuff, he works hard, he scores screamers. It's just got to stop, it really has. And then I was so happy for Harrison. I've got a couple of clips which I'm actually embarrassed to play, but... There's no point recording it if I'm not going to play them. And truly, they are my genuine reactions. I watch them back and think, what am I doing? Is it only me that thought that were a Stonewall pen? Because, I mean, I was watching it in, like, Chinese, so I don't know what the commentators were saying, but it just seems to get brushed over. Oh, he's done him! He's fucking annihilated him! Ref! And I thought with the um, with the goal, with Harrison's goal, I thought something mental was going to happen here with, with two balls on pitch, like it makes a blind bit of difference. Yes! Jackie Boy! Bush! Bush! I don't know why we didn't have McKenney in there from the start. I know McKenney's got a bit of shit on my channel recently, but I rate McKenney, and I, I certainly think he's better than Rocker. And somebody needs to tell Rocker to stop shooting with with his instep on edge at box. He's got a pretty pretty decent strike as Rocker, but for some reason he kept going with instep, and you know it was like it was just it was crawling over the fucking line. But yeah, Bamford's movements here. So he got he had that chance straight after his goal as well, which was just a little bit wide. I think it was Aronson put him through. They were just a little bit. It were too. It were. It were a little bit wide at goal, but I'd go in future. I'd go Nonto in for Aronson, McKenny in for Rocker. I just think McKenny's got more energy. He's more. He's got a few nice touches. Better on ball. Um, they they looked really shaky at back. I felt. I didn't feel like they were comfortable at all at any moment really. And I thought we held it. We held quite well. Um, but I mean, I don't know what happened for that. Their second goal, that was absolutely wild. Rocker got absolutely done for their first goal, which is extremely frustrating. I thought we started second half really well. Um, I was so happy for but for um, Harrison with that goal as well. Like it, proper touch of quality. The two bits of quality in the game came from two players that everybody hates. So I think that's something to go at. And uh, Sinistera got them all important fifteen seconds. Because I'm sure they will, they start adding up. They soon make minutes to them seconds. So, but in all seriousness, no. But 
So obviously results haven't gone as way today, but I don't give a shit at this point. It's like we, we've just got to focus on ourselves, get our own victories. For me, the only way we stay up at this point is Southampton, Bournemouth and Notts Forest. Every, nobody's talking about Notts Forest for some reason. I think West Ham and Everton will get out of it. Everton have obviously won today. Bournemouth got a result, but you don't fret about it being Liverpool. Everybody, you know, like going fucking Liverpool, you know, like it's just three points. Bournemouth will then go and lose to whoever, you know, Bournemouth for shit and will remain to be shit, just like us. So it's a good point. You take it for how the game went. It's frustrating because I felt like we could have got more and there were a couple of chances. Again, if we're a little bit more clinical, like Aronson just don't seem to be the man on the ball. Even he looks good and he looks sharp and stuff. And I'm not having I feel like I've said Aronson a lot here, but I am I'm not not deliberately doing so. But yeah, what's everybody's thoughts? Um I've got a shout out to do as well, which he'll get his shout out for the in the actual video as well. But Andy Wrong really made me laugh in a comment yesterday, last night. I'd had a couple of beers and he he commented on my video. Because I said last week that I was going to do like a relegation prediction, like a mind and a heart one, like where where I think we're going to end up basically. And I haven't done it. And he mentioned that Gracia has been withdrawing, like holding out on these interviews until I do that, until I do the relegation talk. So I will do that for Andy Wrong and nobody else. So yeah, what's everybody saying? I'm going to take it, take the point, fuck the league position off with Looks horrendous, but the points tally is fine at the moment. So a couple of wins and we are out of it. Wolves next. Let go! The way they've been, the results they've had, one defeat in 13. I've got Muppets from Leeds talking about pressures on us and Bamford and Forshaw and uh, a couple of others and it's over to you and this, that and the other. They got beat seven times since Christmas. We've been beaten be, be once. We've set it up from Christmas to be in the right. Boom. <laughs> <laughs>